things are getting whoa, and you want to calm them down here are three really simple things that you can do number one is write and rip and this is just as simple as it sounds take a piece of paper take a pen scribble down on the piece of paper whatever it is that's bothering you and then rip it up no one needs to see it this is the thing i can do you can do other versions of this you can make like a play-doh model of it and then just get rid of it get rid of it number two is five four three two one so when things are beginning to get ugh, close to exploding we think of five things we can see look around us count five things i can see four things i can hear three things i can smell two things i can touch and then one deep breath with the 54321, you can do whatever order you want. It really doesn't matter. The thing to remember is five senses um, and use them all, except generally I don't use taste because, you know, like, well, that's a tough one to use. So I do one deep breath. Um, but yeah, just think of the senses, work through them. So if things are rising, then you can talk a kid through that. Equally, you can get them to carry around a little prompt in their, um, in their bag, in their planner, whatever, uh, to remind them to do this at difficult moments. And then the final one, is to use your box breathing uh, so loads of you have watched my other box breathing video but essentially box breathing is you breathe in for the count of four hold it for the count of four breathe out for the count of four hold it for the count of four and then repeat so i'll just talk you through it we call it box breathing you're like in hold out hold and you can literally get the kid to draw it or you can do it in sand or whatever you want in that moment but it's like a box and that's how you remember it's super simple um so okay so, so just try it with me try it come on humor me okay so breathe in two three four hold two three four out two three four hold two three four in two three four hold two three four out two three four hold two three four simple so three really really simple things that you can use when things are about to kind of bubble over with anxiety or anger to help to calm things down i'd love to hear what other strategies you use what's helpful for you in your home in your classroom leave comments down below and as ever please subscribe for new videos on tuesday and friday and i look forward to seeing you next time bye